Alex is a pretty blonde New York travel editor who wants to be a writer. She's dating a dude named Barton. Barton. I can already tell by the name that he's the wrong guy. Barton has a wealthy family. We know this because poor people don't name their kid Barton. They're snooty, snobby, snotty, and whatever other snow words you can think of. She's a fan of a mysterious travel photographer named Cole Taylor. Given the chance to win a job as a feature writer for her magazine, she decides to do a story about him. Her boss thinks it'll never happen and instead challenges her to go undercover in the world of extreme winter sports. Because she's clumsy and fearful and paying your employees to do things that might possibly get them killed is usually much cheaper than simply firing them and facing sexual harassment lawsuits. But don't quote me on that, I'm not a lawyer. She and Cole Taylor meet cute as she's walking to the resort, though she doesn't know it's him. They meet cute again when she causes a human pileup while freaking out at the chairlift. He describes her as a walking catastrophe. Yeah, this is going to start off well. Eventually, she hires him as a guide slash coach and comes clean about the article she's writing. He agrees to help her. I'm not sure if it's out of pity or spite or boredom. They try skiing. She falls over, so they quit. Some coach he is. Instead of skiing, they have hot cocoa and share their tragic backstories. Then he tells her that her boyfriend is a jerk for not being there with her. Dude, not cool. I don't care if his name is Barton. Then they try zip lining and snow tubing. Yep, living on the edge. They visit a market that's like a Christmas market, but not, where the town is decorated with lights that are like Christmas lights, but aren't. She tries skiing again, and when she can't stop, she finds herself in his arms. Of course. Near Miss Kiss, anyone? Then Barton shows up and takes her for a sleigh ride. She thinks it's boring. She wants extreme. Yeah, she's skied badly twice and gone snow tubing once, and now suddenly she's Peekaboo Street? I don't think so. Barton proposes. She says no. I blame the photographer for this outrage. Meanwhile, her boss tells her to make the story about Cole. Cole gets mad because he thinks she planned the whole thing. To solve this problem in their budding relationship, she goes home to New York. Works every time. Of course, she ends up going back, and they make their relationship official by tandem bungee jumping. Okay? Don't count on that becoming a trope. Barton was never heard from again. Here are our scores. And that's our lightning review for Love on the Slopes.